What's up? How are you guys today? I don't know if I'd rather be outside getting absolutely cooked by the sun because it's like beautiful sunny day, 95 degrees, or in this warehouse losing my mind and evidently by this video, you guys know which one I'm doing. So if you've kept up with the Frankie's free range meat vlogs, you all know some type of ridiculous nonsense happens every week, whether you know something breaks in here or someone's harassing me, there's always something. The most recent one last week, a landlord terminated my lease, called up the fire department to try to get me a violation, and I, I was very irritated. Uh, the day after that, uh, I filed a lawsuit, immediately had him serve the papers. So now I'm in my, I don't know, what is it, third or fourth lawsuit now, and this one is with my landlord. So more legal nonsense. Um, he was actually trying to drag it out saying like, oh, the papers weren't served, but it, it, it's just, it's just I, I don't know what to say, guys. I'm trying to stay positive. And if you guys are unfamiliar with the scenario, basically neighbor next door is complaining about the smell. I don't know why the landlord leased a carpet rug company next to a meat company. That doesn't make any sense, especially knowing the HVAC systems in the building are connected and the landlord doesn't want to spend 15, 20,000, whatever it is to, to get proper ventilation in here. So that's where we're at now. He wants to kick me out. You know, I, I mean, I can't afford to relocate. You guys are saying I should leave New York hundreds of thousands of dollars my employees are here it, it's it's just an unrealistic thing to happen it cannot leave or relocate at this stage in the business so yeah i guess you guys can uh, understand why my mind is on a beach with some latinas instead of being here uh but for now we are here and, and the only thing that is kind of irritating me guys is the uh, meat suppliers and distributors and i've been having a hard time getting stuff i was supposed to have beef liver and marrow bones back in stock last week but now it's not coming for another two weeks. And, and that's been the real crutch of my business. It's, you know, one step forward, two steps back. I'm coming out with new products every week. I'm trying to make everyone happy, keep everyone satisfied and excited. And I can't get the basics in. So now, you know, my sales have been down literally like 20, 30% for the past few months, which is just, you know, how, how am I supposed to grow the business and eventually get out of this space and be in a better position you know, to provide people with higher quality products when I'm just frustrated. And, and the, I think I've said this months ago, the problems aren't getting solved. You know, if you're in a business and the same problems keep coming up and up and up and you don't have a solution for them, it, I think that's one of the worst things that can happen. We do have uh, the beef belly back in stock this week. That is the positive news. So we're going to have the beef bacon, nice, thinly sliced, very popular product. You guys purchased all of the Iberico pork bacon which we will be out of probably for a few more weeks. So I uh, just ran out of the pork bacon. I think we'll have some boar bacon, but the beef bacon, which you guys like more, is going to be in stock. Uh, with the reduced order volume, my guys finished basically everything before lunch. We got the Frankie's Range Foods, Wi-Fi Shielding, Organ Supplements orders, all of those on the pallet for the post office. A lot of you guys have been asking about the water kefir grains. We do have them back in stock now with larger sizes. This is a 16 ounce jar. You can have plenty of these for probiotic health for the week. You know, eat them with a spoon in glass, 16 ounces, much cheaper too. FrankiesRangeFoods.com for the grains, guys. We ran out of the jerky last week, but we have both in stock, guys, the flavored and the plain jerky if you're trying to order that. Same thing with the pemmican and chocolate best bars, guys. Those are back in stock. So if you're trying to get anything on Frankie's Range Foods, for the most part, we have it, as I said the other week, the collagen broth and the chicken stock are now available on the meat website. So uh, let's hop in the freezer and just take a look at a few things. I showed you guys this last week. We have the pork strip steaks available now, as well as the pork rib steaks. You know, previously we were selling these by like the whole rack. So this is much more affordable, nicer portion. Each of them are about six ounces. And we also have some lamb stew meat back in stock. So if you guys want one pound lamb stew meat portions, and, and some of you guys might not know, almost all of our meat is halal. Obviously the pork is not halal, but all the beef and all the lamb is halal. Now we did run out of a lot of stuff this week, guys. Uh, we're gonna have the caviar back in stock soon. Uh, the beef liver and the marrow bones, hopefully I can get them in about two weeks. Beef tendons, I don't know, but we do have the collagen broth. So I'm really trying my best guys to, to try to keep everything in stock, but you know, the past few months, the first part of this year was pretty good. You know, we kind of had everything we needed. Now I'm going back to the same suppliers. They're telling me they can't get the stuff. So, you know, what am I supposed to do? I was able to send the spice blends over to the butcher. 
for the hot dogs, the Italian sausage. Uh, so I made these custom organic spice blends and hopefully uh, we can have those products in, in a few weeks and that would be a nice little boost in sales in addition to the eggs. But uh, I'm trying to get a hold of these Amish people. It's not too easy as you guys know. They do not have phones. We ran out of most of the cheeses this week but I will have them back in stock for you guys and the roast beef is freshly sliced. So guys, please place an order today. You'll get the fresh roast beef within two to three days. So about half the week, I actually have the roast beef myself for lunch and dinner, and the other part of the week, I'll just have some steaks. But it, it's really, really nice and convenient because I don't have to cook. We have been doing the liquidation on organ supplements for the freeze-dried beef powders. You guys have been buying a lot of those. On Frankie's Naturals, we have the natural bug spray available and the moisturizing cream, which can actually be used as uh, a tanning cream, a sunblock, very, very, very multi-purpose. On Wi-Fi shielding, there should be a lot of new things coming in soon, stuff to like shield around the house, some grounding equipment. Hopefully we can get the bed canopies back in stock and the t-shirts and underwear as soon as all this fabric and stuff comes in. So hopefully within one or two months, we can have all that stuff restocked. I remember I was sticking it out till last spring. Well, now we're kind of at the end of spring to see if I would get any grants or loans for my own operation. And that, that didn't happen, guys. That didn't happen. And then my landlord's trying to kick me out. So I'm, I'm, I'm dreaming of South Beach, Miami right now. Just I've had enough, guys. I've had enough, you know. Maybe I'll address this in a separate video, but I'm assuming they're just like gaslighting shills, lying to me to try to get me frustrated. Uh, one thing that was being said was that you shouldn't talk bad about the landlord because you won't be able to rent a new place. <laughs> Those people are saying that because they don't want me to expose how poorly I've been treated by this management company. So I I'm, I'm being very polite and respectful considering what this management company has done to me. At this point, I should be naming them, going into specific details that 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 because you know if a future person is about to buy a property from them they'll know what they're going to do you know try to kick you out terminate your lease and call the fire department doing really sketchy shady stuff so those shills don't want me to say that because they're all in the club together and the second thing they've been saying is oh frank you should move out of new york you've got to leave new york guys the, the amount of equipment in this building and, and everything together is probably at least one hundred fifty thousand. And to get a, a lease on a space, the deposit, the insurance, all that stuff is about 50000 up front. So, you know, we're talking a few hundred thousand dollars just to relocate. And that doesn't include my employees. I, my employees are going to be able to get to the new location. I can't, I mean, training new staff and teaching everything would be ridiculous. So th those aren't really feasible options. I, I think the best case scenario is try to make some decent profit in this space for another year or two or three, and then maybe find another a butcher shop or slaughterhouse for sale and then combine the businesses and relocate but uh, I honestly really hope I don't last that long and I hope I end up somewhere with a lot of Spanish girls before I completely lose my fucking mind because I literally can't I can't I like can't function anymore guys I really can't the stress of the business and doing the YouTube videos every day and all that stuff I just I'm going crazy but if you guys do want to support me uh, you can go to frank to Check out all of my businesses, guys. We have the meat company, the foods, organ supplements, Frankie's Naturals, Wi-Fi shielding. Very, very interesting products. If you guys haven't seen the websites, you check them out. But hey, hopefully, hopefully the next few weeks are a little better. We can get some stuff back in stock and uh, see how things go. As usual, if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow. Thank you.